Hi y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If y'all are new here, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I am really leaning into styling slash fashion content this month. And so I thought I would round out the month of May with a My Most Worn Outfits of May video. I used to do this quite a bit and then for some reason I stopped and it seems like y'all really like my styling videos so I thought I would do this one. Some of these outfits overlap with outfits that you saw in my last styling video which was probably the last video I posted which was what I'm wearing for spring and that's because I'm an outfit repeater and if I find something that I feel good in and that's comfy and I feel like expresses myself in a fashion way, I will wear it over and over and over again until I'm bored of it. So that's why you may see the same outfits again in this video. But let's just get into it. I feel like May wasn't particularly exciting clothing wise, but I'm finally starting to remember what it's like to dress for spring summer temps. So that's what you're getting here. All right, let's get into it. Okay, this first variation of outfits has been bike shorts with wool sweaters, which I've been wearing a lot. These are the TNA Butter 5 inch shorts, I think. They kindly gifted them to me. I also love the Lululemon Wonder Under shorts. I find that they're a little bit thicker than the, um, like, a line shorts that they have. And these, I believe, are the 7 inch ones. So either those or these ones, but I kind of like the 5 inch. I like a little bit of a shorter one. This is an older... Everlane sweater. I've been going with sneakers or like my clogs with this. And then this bag I've been using so much as you've seen if you follow me on TikTok. And my new Etsy sunglasses that I love. So like this has been a version of this outfit that I've been wearing a lot. Then I've also been doing this little brown thrifted wool sweater that I love. And I love that it has like this little, like it does this kind of zip. So I've been doing this combo with the clogs and this bag a lot as well so some variation of like shorts with wool sweater has been my like go-to everyday sort of outfit it just feels good and i like it do i need to justify it anymore all right are we even the slightest bit surprised that this is in here this has probably been my most worn outfit for the past three months probably I don't know I wear this at least once a week I love it so much I feel so good in it this sweater is definitely the most famous sweaters of all time it's from James Street Co um I don't know if they have it anymore they might be able to check their archive um section of their site to see if anyone's reselling it but love it so much it's the Blake pullover I have mine in a small it has stretched out a little bit since getting it especially around like the neck and the sleeves but I do like how oversized it fits and then again a staple in my wardrobe now these are the Levi 501 90s I'm just wearing them with my super burkies these have a 30 inch inseam and I'm 5'3 they have a slight bit of pooling at the top of my feet but I kind of like that for this particular style I normally would go for like a 27 or 28 inseam that's like my preference I would say um so yeah same bag and then thrifted studies that I got that are the DKNY brand ones um but yeah I've been living in this it feels so good it feels so me and I just I love it so much okay I've also really been leaning into very simple outfits so I have done like a bunch of combinations of some sort of tank and these jeans combo like that's basically what I've been also living in so I've been wearing this sort of kind of vibe if I'm going out for drinks or just like something in the evening time. Again, same 501 jeans. This is a top from the Foundationals. This is my probably my favorite tank top. I think it just fits really well. I do have a very short torso, so I feel like if you had a longer torso, this might be a little bit cropped on you. But I like that it fits like right at my hips here. And then i am just paired it with these thrifted open toe sandals that I've been wearing a lot when I've been going out. They're really comfy, they're really easy, and I just feel like this is a very, very simple look. But again, 
like I said in my last video, sometimes I just need someone to spell it out for me, you know? And obviously you can accessorize this to kind of like make it more you, but I feel good in this. And I think at the end of the day, sometimes I want to be in something really, really simple because I know I'm going to feel good and confident and just most like myself. So love this again short sleeve white tank top gray t-shirt like any sort of combination of plain top with a pair of jeans that just like fit me well or fit me how i want them to fit me shall i say because i think people would argue these don't fit me well but anything that you feel good in is a great outfit and this is something i've been wearing so much this month anytime i need to go out somewhere <laughs> Here is another variation of a very simple outfit that I've been wearing so much this month, and that's these thrifted 501s. I've just rolled them all the way around because they're a little bit big, and I don't always love wearing a belt, so this is a, you know, I don't know, trendy way to do it, I guess. Um, obviously my super burkies. And then another foundationals top. This is just their classic t-shirt. It's a little bit longer, which I like. Just hits perfectly at the top of my jeans. Same bag that I've been loving. And then I've also been wearing this Cian pattern necklace quite a bit. Um, Britt kindly sent this to me and I feel like it just goes with everything. It's just like a nice little accessory to add. But yeah, so this is like a combo outfit that I've like worn so many times this month and switch it up if I go out, like wear it with a pair of boots or I don't know, like these ones I'll show you. These little leather brown leather boots I know I've showed these before um, that I thrifted I've been loving that with this like I think brown and black is so cute together so these have been a huge part of this month too okay same jeans but I've also been wearing this cotton top a lot um, I, you've probably seen that if you watched my video that I did with them but it's from their new spring collection and I love it it's just like a really nice great oversized button down it's unisex sizing and I got mine in a small so that it would be like fairly oversized and then I'm just wearing them with the Reformation Agatha loafers just like this is a classic look and yeah I don't know I've been loving this top I've worn it so many times again I just feel good in it and it's really easy I think if anything this month I've just been like really wearing very simple things but that I feel confident in which is basically my MO with getting dressed so yeah I also think I probably still have a discount code for this one or any other cotton pieces if you have any that you like okay and now i just want to round this video out by showing you two pieces that i've just been reaching for a lot um and the first is the freeform skort from outdoor voices you probably see me wear it so many times i did style in my last video i really love just wearing it with a black top or like black sweater i think the black and green look really pretty together this is also just so comfy and i've just found myself reaching for it a lot and then secondly is a hoodie i wear literally all the time and it's this cropped it's the tna sweat fleece cozy fleece boyfriend fit but it's the cropped one um and i bought this before i went to coachella because i wanted to have like a layer to bring with me to the festival and i just find myself wearing it every day like i wear it to yoga every day i wear it just running out i wear it at my house i mean it's a great freaking hoodie like obviously it's so versatile it's so comfy and cozy and i do genuinely think that like tna or Ritzia, sorry, has like some of the best basics as far as this sort of stuff goes. And I've just found myself reaching for it a lot. I got mine in a size small, if you're curious. And it is like kind of like a boxy sort of fit. Those have been my most worn outfits for the month of May. I hope you like this. It was very simple. I feel like my outfits this month were just very like pared down. And maybe we'll get a little bit spicier for the month of June. Okay. Love you all so much. Everything will be linked down below. And I'll see all of your beautiful faces in the next one. Bye.